Hey y'all, welcome back to Redneck Cooking with Billy Ray. Now today for you, I'm going to show you how to make Billy Ray's Baked Stuffed Jalapenos. Now, to make your Baked Stuffed Jalapenos, first thing you need is jalapenos. Now, all you got to do to make this thing is you just need a very small, thin knife, and we're going to just cut off the end real quick. Take that, throw it away. Now very carefully, we're going to take this thin blade, and we are going to work our way around the entire inside of this jalapeno. Our goal is not to sever it on the outside and split her. So take your time. And you're just going to keep working around in a circle. And eventually, that inside will pop for us. So get on out of there. Come on. Come on. There we go. And then all the seeds are going to come out. So we're going to do that. And rinse her on down. Now we got a jalapeno ready to stuff. Now you're gonna have to make your stuffing, right? Well, Billy Ray's stuffing is only two ingredients. First thing you need, you need one cup of mayo. The next thing you need is you need about eight ounces of that finest product in the world. We know it, sliced ham product in the can. Now, we're gonna take our sliced ham product, we're gonna take a big old knife here, and you wanna take it, and you wanna cut it down into little itty bitty strips. So where you gotta use a little bit of knife work, and you wanna take your time. But you wanna take slices of that eight ounces down, and you wanna make little ribbons. Kinda looks like worms when you go fishing, right? And then from those ribbons, turn it sideways, kinda like this. And we're gonna cut it again, and we're gonna dice it as fine as you have the ability to do so. Because this is part of our stuffing, and if we have too big of uh, chunks, it's gonna be hard to get it inside that there, uh, Jalapeno, isn't it? All right, there we go. And what you get is you get little confetti of that ham product. And all we do is we take this and this and we combine them. Grab ourselves a spatula and we're just gonna spin it all up real quick. And you're going equal parts. So one cup of mayo to basically one cup of your meats. And all it is right there, there's your stuffing. Now, when it comes down to actually making our jalapeno poppers, we need one other thing. Now, typically, people use cream cheese inside their jalapeno poppers. I don't like that in my case. So what I like to do is I like to take slices of American cheese. So. We take our sliced American cheese here, we open it all up, and then just like before, we're going to cut it down into little ribbons, right? And I would say these are about 3 8 inch wide, something like that. So you're going to have three little strips of uh, cheese ribbons here. We take our cheese ribbon, and then we kind of just put it down inside our jalapeno, kind of like a triangle shape, right? Since I dropped one in the sink down there, we just need to make one more. And there we go. So now we have our little cheese pocket opening, right? Then, take our stuffing mixture, we take ourselves a butter knife, and all we do is we now stuff this thing up with our mayonnaise, and ham product. Now don't worry if you get uh, a little bit messy, it's fine. It's going to be that way anyway. Now your goal is to stuff pretty much, I say about 80% of that jalapeno. You keep working on it and eventually you got you know, a little divot like that in the bottom, right? Don't worry about being messy. It's part of the job on this one. Now you're probably wondering like, hey Billy Ray, that's going to blend out or uh, bleed out during the cooking process. Well, no it isn't. Because what we do is we use the leftover piece of the uh, cheese here. And we just kind of tear it up real quick. And what we're doing is we're now going to cap the end with that cheese. Seal it on up tight. And there you go. You got Billy Ray's baked jalapenos. Now to cook these suckers, you want to take them, you want to put them on a wire wrap and a baking sheet. I'm going to go kind of like that, and then you're going to put them in an oven at 350 degrees 
for about three or three, about 15 minutes or so. Once we get it all baked up, we'll come on right back. So I realized in that last section, I forgot to tell you how many jalapenos we're making. The recipe in general calls for anywhere from 12 to 15 jalapenos, depending on the side. Personally, I usually make 10 or 12, because what happens is there's always some kind of leftovers, and that right there, that is a good sandwich spread. So, when you're done baking off your jalapenos and pull them out, you got something that looks like this. And this right here, this is one of the finer snacks you can have. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Bill, it's not enough. Remember, you don't gotta be fancy to be gourmet.